The purpose of this video is to uh, show you how you can very easily see inventory on hand, which is reserved for a particular uh, manufacturing order or delivery order or receipt, etc. So the first thing we're going to want to do is look at the manufacturing orders as an example. And if we open up these manufacturing orders and we look at, uh, we have three here in the pipe, all which are currently pending or confirmed some in progress. Here I can see the status of the material availability, which is some are available, meaning all components required to manufacture this product are currently available and reserved or allocated to this order. Partially available indicates that some of them are. As we'll see, the bottom two are, the top two are not. Whereas with number one, which is fully available, we'll see here both are reserved. Now, I've also generated a report in inventory. If I go to stock moves, here you'll see this is just a report that's going to show me all my stock moves across the entire system historically. Now, of course, this is a very powerful report and that I can very quickly clean this up to uh, provide visibility into specific things that I'm looking for, such as I want to see all stock that's ready, meaning all stock which is reserved. And I can see here quantity reserved will match the demand for everything along the lines. Now, I can also group by a product and this will show me all my products which are reserved a group of them. I can see all the orders for the acoustic block screen. These are all delivery orders here. And if I drill into that, I will have visibility into the sale order it's related to, so on and so forth. Now, I can also see down here component A and B, and these are for the manufacturing order number nine that we talked about. Now, I can also get even more specific here and say, of all of these, I want to filter out all references which contain MO or which are related to a manufacturing order. And this will give me a report, which just is uh, products reserved for manufacturing orders. Um, I've already saved this as a favorite, so I can look at favorites and look at reserved for production, and it'll show me the same report. Now, what I can also look at here is if I go back to this manufacturing order and I unreserve this stock, that means it's no longer reserved, these highlight in red. And if I refresh my report, they come off the list because there's nothing reserved. If I do check availability, reserve them, refresh, they're reserved. So that's how you can begin to have visibility into what's reserved, what's not, what, can, what stock can I free up, what's not a priority that should be allocated to an order that is priority. Um, this will provide you with that visibility to make those kinds of decisions. If you have any additional questions, feel free to reach out and let me know. Um, always like and subscribe my, my content uh, right here that you'll see the subscribe button in this video if you uh, want to you know stay up to date on all the videos I release which is usually you know one to two uh, every few days thanks so much and have a great day